Hey, what is up? Welcome back Design Squad. And as you can see on my screen today, we are gonna touch again icons. And today I'm gonna share with you 20 resources or 20 go-to places where any UI designer, any product designer, any UX designer should know about because they are very high quality and something what, for example, if I would reformat my stuff or I would lose my digital assets, I would go to and re-download them immediately because it provides a really decent baseline for you to produce high quality quality work afterwards and the best bit that I'm gonna leave the links down below so once you're done watching it check it out and then download these high quality resources so number one is of course material design I think this is a no-brainer because it provides a very well thought out very consistent icon sets which you can download in bulk you can you know check outlined you can have rounded you can have two tones so you have a lot of different version profiles and you can download that immediately and it's just gonna give you hundreds of icons to go to now you could go and just download bit by bit as you can see i can just download as svg and just go in and design it but i also like this material design icons.com which basically has a whole pack of it and you can just download it immediately as a bulk now, number two is the nounproject.com, which is basically a search repository of icons of professional icons. So for example, I have my own icons listed on this. So you basically search for a query and it gives you high quality this. Okay, this is my icon. Boom. As you can see, then you can get this icon immediately, log in, and then by attribution, it's free to use. We also have this really nifty app, which basically allows you to search the same way on a Mac. And then let's say you can switch the color as well to an icon, even drag and drop to, let's say, your canvas or sketch or something, and then edit it that way. Next, we have iconmonster.com. It's similar to Noun Project, but this is a bit more, you know, it doesn't have a paywall. Let's say you don't have to log in, you can just immediately download. And so if we search for something like count or something something generic term you can see i'm gonna get a lot of different icons to choose from i can choose filled let's say outlines or thinner icons like let's say this that's pretty good you can see how many of people liked it you can select the format let's say this is the size i want color and then agree and then just download that icon as defined and boom i have that ready to use now next we have feather icons is a set which you probably seen in countless of websites it's definitely everywhere it's not like the thinnest line icons you can immediately download them all and i can then add it to my icon jar or any other bit and just use it or you can also just search for a specific icon turn on the dark mode maybe it's something like the map and just download that simple as that very effective now next we have three svg icons all are split by category that's the good bit about it maybe i need like a facebook icon i'm just gonna click on that and then get all the like icons something for social sharing stuff like that and have tags and everything else and find the one thing which makes sense to you so perhaps it's this one facebook like icon the simplicity of it is actually the selling part of this service because you can just download svg and then use it immediately or download something else now number six is digital nomad starter pack this is very simple very very flat a set of images pretty nicely designed where you can actually add to almost any travel related design project next we have a core ui and as the name says core ui is all about the core functionality the go-to things which any designer is going to need in their different pursuits and as you can see they're all go-to they're all purpose driven we have the tagging right you just need to then decide how you want to use it and there is just a lot of them next we have icon store ceo this is what we call first class design or icons because for example this one you can immediately get a, a glimpse of exactly what icons you're gonna get and this is like really high quality illustrations let's see the icons at png level would look like this the only issue or i guess maybe it's not really an issue is that most of the sets are quite limited in size i guess you could hire the designer because you can you know immediately who is the designer behind it uh, channel industry so you can reach out to them and get a fuller bigger set of icons for example for a game you are designing or something like that. Next, we have Zwickon icon set for, you know, for your projects where you can freely download the well-defined, well, very well-crafted. And I like the weight of it. As you can see, this is a good representation of that. It has over 500 icons, meaning this is a decent set. And of course, as every well-crafted icon font, it has all the features you would want. So I would recommend to just simply free download it and explore. Next, we have icons SVG, almost like an icon jar, but embedded 
embedded in the browser has at least a go to starter kit for outline icons you can immediately download copy a CG code and give it your engineers even just browse and actually preview what the icon could be like and change the color things of that nature so it's almost like a generator for very basic icons to then customize and add to your projects next we have the free icons by icon set over 100,000 free icon set i can just select let's say covid 19 and i'm gonna get a lot of virus related icons which are for example maybe this would be it maybe this is something i'm after i could get embeddable HTML snippet, I can download the icon itself, it's a lot of icons, it's 100,000 of things to choose from. So it's really good resource to go to. Next, we have Iconate. And I like this specific resource, this go to a repository, because for example, you can edit the border of displayed icons, you can search for a specific icon, for example, account or something like that, you can increase or decrease the border, let's say you can literally make it as thick as you want to, you can increase the size of it, you can select a different color if you want to. So for example, if I would go for something very standard gray, and boom, it exported the set those predefined parameters as you can see we have this illustrio.com it's an icon library every tool i'm sharing with you has very different type of filters as i'm just flicking through you're gonna immediately see what i'm talking about it's exactly the same icon set but in a very different type of outlook the best bit is that you can actually preview at all times how it would look like in very different style and then you can download the one you want you can also switch the colors if you want to you can just define whatever you want in a color wheel and then get the funky stuff like that, for example, if that's what you're after. Next, free icons for landing pages. It has over 700 icons and 47 themes, different sets predefined. One is for education, let's say, one is for webinars, one is for stores, event agency, beauty salons. So for example, if I'm into travel, I can just download the travel bit and just get a set of icons like so and just freely use them wherever I want to. Next, we have ion icons. And as you can see, it's open source icons. For example, you can get outline, filled or sharp. I always default to outline right now because we are in that era of light interfaces. But as you can see, it has quite a few different icons. I can just, for example, search Facebook because I saw that. Boom, I can just download that alone, get embed code for web embed. I can get also all of it back in a massive block with different icons. Next, we have very different stuff. So it's called simple icons and simple icons.org. As you can see, it's a lot of different logos. So for example, if you work with any brand or you want to showcase the brand, or is maybe it's a concept case, this is where you would find a logo of that brand and then you can use in your design work. Next, we have streamline icons and streamline icons, it's over 30,000 vector icons. And every time I download it, it takes forever. You could also give it to your developers to immediately add it to their code bases for NPM and or you could just download the free icon. And if I preview what I download, as you can see, it spits out the icon jar. So you can immediately add it to your icon jar. So all those sets are immediately included for you to use. Number 18 is uni icons or unicorns. Regardless, it's by Icon Scout. Again, split into different styles icon set. And if I let's say preview one, for example, this is line one, which is totally free. I can download it a single icon if I want. So I can, of course, change the color too. So it's almost like an app to edit. They're quite generic, but they're well crafted to then add to your project work. And then number 19 is a treasure trove because it has over 3 million of vector icons in it. It's massive. And you know, it comes with a little bit of a caveat because you know, the more you have, the less quality you can retain. And so there is, there is a mix of really good stuff and not so good stuff. It's going to be left up to you to see if that's good enough for you. So for example, if I pick something like Instagram, hundreds of examples of different icons, as you can see 30 pages. Now the use of it is not really about downloading a full pack. It's really icon by icon basis because it's left to you to decide if this icon is good enough for you to proceed with. And the number 20 is very different. It's about emojis and it's about over 3000 different emoji icons, which are brought to us by Twitter design team and Twitter engineering team. As you can see, you can download immediately the same assets. For example, if you're new to GitHub, you would just go to clone and download, download the zip, and you're going to get the code as well as the final resources to use in your design work. You would just go to asset SVGs and boom, 
You have all the emojis you can imagine. It's open source. You can then implement in your design work, in your maybe new social network, in your apps, in anything you do, which requires a pictogram to better showcase the emotion user tells with your text. And so if you like this video, of course, give a like, subscribe to this channel. If you have other resources you go to and you want to share with a community, leave a comment down below. And on that note, I'll see you next time.